Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from prettypapercards.com. Welcome, welcome. Today has been a crazy day. Actually, it's been kind of a crazy week. And let me make sure that I'm live here. We'll see what's going on. Um, it kind of looks like I am. Okay, here we go. Um, I hope you can hear me. If you get on, let me know if you can hear me so that um, I think you can. Okay, it looks like maybe one person is watching. Welcome, welcome. I'm here with Ellie. And let's see, I want to get us a little bit more in the camera for you. Let's get us more in the camera. There we go. There she is. Um, Ellie, and I brought Ellie a toy today. This is her little, I think it's a hippopotamus that we're gonna just play with today. I don't know that she actually likes him. Ellie has been sick this week. Yeah, she didn't, she got sick. Hi Robin, good to see you. Good, thanks, I'm glad you can hear me. Ellie got sick this week. Yeah, over the weekend actually, she had an intestinal thing and I had to take her to the doctor and Oh boy, but she is feeling better today. She's still tired, but spunky, much more spunky. You wouldn't know it right now. A few minutes ago, she was chasing this little guy. I think he's a hippo. I'm not sure, maybe a rhinoceros. Kimberly, good to see you from Minnesota. How's the weather there? It's, um, it's fairly nice here in the high 60s. Not too warm today. I know, poor baby. We were worried about her, we really were. But um, she's perked back up and the doctor gave her some medicine and everything. So I think she's going to be okay. Um, so what's going on? Lots of stuff going on. I am so, so busy. I've got paper shares and in color shares that I'm working on that you all just, um, oh, it's hot and sticky, Kimberly. Oh boy. In Minnesota, hot and sticky. Um, we're going to be getting warm next week, but we usually don't get sticky, which is one nice thing about San Diego. We do have excellent weather, I have to say. So, yeah, I'm working on my whole table behind. If you get a glimpse of it, I really don't want you to. Um, it has tons of paper and uh, more paper, and all, and it's just kind of a mess. And I had, I've had, Carol, good to see you, 92 in Chicagoland. It's getting warm, it's getting towards summer. We've just got another month or so and it'll be summer. Um, I've had taught three classes over the past five days. I had two on Saturday and one yesterday. New catalog classes where everybody got to um, make uh, cards using new catalog products and we went through the catalog kind of like I've done with you. Um, I you guys helped me practice and I used that when we went through the catalog with the classes and yeah I've been just super busy and so I'm actually glad to thank you so much for sharing Kimberly I'm kind of glad to just get on and relax here and I think Ellie is ready to take her nap she's been a, you know more sleepy since she wasn't feeling good over the weekend and on Monday is when I took her to the doctor um, so I'm going to put her down and as soon as we get off, I'm going to give her her medicine. She gets it um, after two o'clock every day for about four days for her little tummy. So poor baby. Okay, good to see you from North Carolina. So happy to see you. So we are going to make a card with lemons today. I'm going to give you a sneak peek because before I talk about the announcements. Here is a picture of the card we're gonna make today, a lemon card. And I bet you didn't know, we don't have a lemon sweet, but I am going to show you how to make a card of lemons. And there are several different ways to make a card using lemons. And I can't wait to show you. But first, I do wanna talk about our joining special, our starter kit special. And um, it is so great for the month of May. It is just so great right now. And you get 190, if I've added right, $191.50 worth of product for $99 and it all ships free. And I know I've got some demonstrators on here 
and um, all of you know what a great deal this is. So you get $125 of product that you get to choose. You pay $99 and it ships free, but during the month of May, you get special in-color products. And I've shown you before, but I wanna show you again. You get a full package of in-color designer series paper. And if you don't know what this is, even if you're a demonstrator or you're not uh, planning on being one, you're just a customer, um, the in color or the, the standard designer series paper from Stampin' Up, we have six by six designer series paper for every color, uh, color grouping that we have, like we have it for the brights, the neutrals, the settles, and the regals, and, and the in colors. And what it is, is you get four sheets of each color, and all these, I think it's four, and these different patterns, all these different patterns that you can use on all of your cards. So all the different in colors for the in color designer series paper. And if you get the starter kit special during the month of May, you get a full pack of in color papers. I think it's 48 sheets, which is fabulous. You also get, um, Am I right that you get glimmer paper? I think it's just with my thing that you get glimmer paper. The other thing you get, oh, you get a full package of, um, for the special, with the starter kit special, really, I am, I'm running on empty here because we were up a lot, several nights with Ellie, and so if I make a mistake, you guys just correct me. I always count on you doing that. So for the in-color special, the joining special, the in color designer series paper, a full pack of um, in color card stock, eight and a half by 11. You get a full pack of these adorable um, cards and envelopes. And let me see these um, super, super cute. I hope I'm right. I took all my stuff to that special, my class yesterday, and I've lost it all. And you get um, a full package of in-color grid paper to use. And I'm using grid paper today. So if you are interested in joining Stampin' Up, becoming a demonstrator, um, you can join and you don't need to even sell anything. You can join as a hobby demonstrator. And we have so many people who do that. In fact, I've already had two gals uh, join my Sweet Stampers team just since the special started, really just this week. And I'm so happy to have them. We have a fabulous team of Sweet Stampers. So if you're interested in the Starter Kit Special, the month of May is the time to do it. And I have links up above, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, so that you can follow those links and find out more and, um, you know, get all the details. Or you can email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and I'll let you know because I would love to have you on my team. And you start out by getting, after you get your starter kit, you get 20% off every single product you buy. And I would be so excited for you to get that wonderful bargain. Okay, we're just gonna go right to our card because I am so excited to show you this lemon card. So first of all, I'm gonna change you down here. And I wanna show you, we're going to work today on the in-color grid paper that's something that you get with the starter kit special in the month of May. And this is a piece of grid paper that's colored kind of an ombre look. It goes from the dark to the light, and this is Orchid Oasis. And isn't that pretty? So um, I wanted you to see it, so that's why we're going to work on it today. And here's the color we're going to, or the card we're going to make. It is a lemon card, and we're, I can't even find my catalog, I'm telling you. I just brought everything in early this morning, and I have been busy all day. So this is part of the first suite in the catalog, the beautiful cup of tea suite. But I like to show you what else you can do with your products. And this cup of tea suite, and many of you have seen it, we've used it, I've made a tea card with a teacup here on our lives. and But I wanna show you what you can do that is an unexpected thing. Robin, you get grid paper, thank you for telling me. Robin's gonna tell us, she's in my downline. A package of in-color 
cardstock, the DSP, no envelopes and no glimmer paper. Oh, you get all the five in color ink pads. Yes, I, I'm telling you, I'm working on my in color shares. And so what I was sharing, showing you is my in color shares. I'm telling you, you have to excuse me today because I'm just not at my, at my sharpest, but we are gonna make a gorgeous card. So this is the stamp set we're going to use, but we're not going to use the teacup. We are going to use the lemons. And look at that cute little lemon right there. It's a lemon stamp. And these are the dies that go with it with the cup of tea stamp set. They're called the teacup dies. And if you believe it, they have two little tiny lemon dies. Let me put them right on here so that you can see. I had them off so we can use it. That will die cut the lemon slice, and this other one, let me get it because I had it over to the side here. Hold please. I'm just going to scoop it right up in one second. Okay, here we go. It's just stuck over here in my corner, and I'm having trouble getting it up. Here we go. This is the other die this one that has the sections of the lemon. Have you ever seen something so cute? The actual sections of the lemon in a die. I mean, it's small, but it is cute. And here is the outer, um, the outer area of the lemon. It's not a lemon slice, it's a lemon wedge. Let me be correct on that. And so let me show you on the sample card. Look at these cute little lemon wedges. Are those not darling? Super cute little lemon wedges. And our card also uses um, a sheet from the T Boutique Designer Series paper. It's six by six. And look at all those beautiful lemons on this paper. I love this paper. It's You get lots of different patterns in the T Boutique paper. Um, I don't even have that here either. I've had everything out to show at my classes. But this is one of many that are tea, teacups, flowers, all the in colors. But I found this adorable little lemon pattern in the paper and I thought it would make the cutest little thank you card. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our eight and a half by five and a half card base scored at four and a quarter as usual this is the standard card base and i'm just going to go ahead and burnish that with my bone folder to get that down nice and flat and now what we're going to do is um, cut this is an, another one of the pieces of the beautiful paper and i'm going to get out my paper trimmer and we're going to cut this paper at five by three and three quarters. So here we go. Five inches right here. Isn't it pretty? I just, I hope you guys really like it because I love it. Um, five by three, let me confirm because I'm just a little, um, I wanna make sure I'm right by three and three quarters inches. Okay. And this is a little further in than we generally cut our DSP. Usually we just cut it a quarter of an inch smaller than our card base front, our card front, just like this. But I wanted to give a little extra frame. If you want to give an extra frame, just cut your designer series paper a little bit smaller. And so we're going to just go ahead and glue this on with our multi-purpose glue. Look at the back. Isn't that so pretty? I mean, this designer series paper, the, the whole T Boutique suite is just amazing. So let's get this on and then we can start working with our lemons. Okay. So that creates the base of our card. We have the card base and the pattern designer series paper. And this is what we're going to build everything else on. Isn't it bright and cheery, Kimberly? I so agree with you. And by the way, make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to give away a prize at the end. And I don't want you to miss that. Alrighty. So um, the next thing we're going to do is I am going to use a, actually a doily on this card. 
and we have these doilies right now. They're in the mini catalog, and they're, I don't even have the green. There was a green one, um, but I've used those all up. But one thing, if you don't wanna use the colors that, you're, that come in the set, there are three colors, you just turn it over, and that's what I'm gonna do with this doily, because I thought it would make, you know, when you think of having a tea party, don't you think of having doilies under the teacups or on a, a little uh, tray of, of cookies or something? So we're going to put this little doily down as a base for our um, all of our lemon activity. It just takes a little bit of glue, and when you turn it over like that, you can sponge it if you wanted to add <clears throat> more of the color. The colors in this paper are um, garden green, and um, I don't want to, I don't think it's Cajun craze. Let me see, um, garden green. Um, okay, I don't know. Uh, wait, I'll tell you. Garden green and crushed curry, that's it. And these are beautiful together. They are the colors in the Tea Boutiques, two of the colors in the Tea Boutique Suite. Hi, Diane, thank you for writing down prize. In addition, <clears throat> to the in colors. You'll see these two colors in your in your tea boutique paper. Now we're going to go ahead and let's start making a few lemons. I'm going to get out my little mini boss, my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. That is so cute. And what we're going to do now, I want to show you a couple of ways that you can make the lemons. On this card, what I did and where are our two dies? Let's get those two dies out. So on this card, what I did is I used the crushed curry. Can you actually see those lemons? Let me get them up closer. So I used the crushed curry for this larger die, the one that kind of cuts the entire wedge. And then I used So Saffron cardstock to um, to do the, the outlining. Because when I looked on the paper, it looks like the inside of the lemon is darker than the outside, than the, the peel and whatnot. But I also thought we would look at how to go ahead and make it by stamping our lemon. So let's get a little piece of white paper, which I have right here. Some it's just one of those days, you guys. Okay, here's my little piece of white paper, and it is really little. And here's our lemon stamp, all put on our block already. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna use to brighten my lemons, I wanted them a little bit brighter than the lemons in the paper, because I wanted them to stand out. So I'm using Daffodil Delight ink. And I'm just gonna do one. I've got the other two ready to go, I hope. Here's somewhere. So I'm going to use just a little Daffodil Delight ink, and I'm going to stamp one lemon just like that. Now remember, these are photopolymer stamps, and you always want to have a pad under there for a very good impression. And I do. My desk pad is underneath there. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and take our full... Um, our full... I, I'm calling this a wedge. I think what that's what it is. A full or a half slice, we could call it that, die, and we're just gonna put it right over that stamped lemon. And again, it is pretty small, but it's oh so cute. And then we're just gonna put our little uh, plate on there, and we'll run this through our die cutting machine. There we go, our little mini boss. Cookie, good to see you. Have you been here before? I'm, I'm not totally recognizing your name, but we are so happy to have you today. All right, here, so here is the little lemon half slice. Okay, now let's make that outline. And I'm gonna make that, I thought this was so saffron. It's looking like crushed curry, but, um, Maybe not, because I know I, I tried to pull it from the So Saffron um, 
paper, but with the way things are today, I just don't know, but it's gonna be cute. So we're gonna cut this little outlining piece. You know, when you're using your grid paper, one handy thing to do is put one of these little silicone mats down under your machine, and that should keep it from sliding somewhat. Let me see. There we go. So now we have our little outline piece. Look at how cute this is. Is that not cute? Can you see that? And it cuts out those little itty bitty pieces in there. So let's just pull that out, poke out all the little pieces, and there we have it. Isn't that just, it's hard to see. I want you to see it, there you go. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, so now what we have is our stamped lemon right here and we have the outline and what we're going to do is glue those together and what we're going to do is very simply it's really easy all you do is put one little glue dot or excuse me one little dot of multi-purpose glue right on right in the center there we don't need to glue it all around just in the center and then we just lay it down right over the stamped lemon half slice. The one thing I like about using the half slice, and I'll show you in a minute, is that um, I think it shows, it looks more like an actual lemon. When you look at it, it doesn't look like cardstock, it looks like an actual lemon. So let me pull out, um, I had a few extras here that I had pre-made. I thought I had here. Okay, so we'll just make all three, I guess. I thought I had made three extras, but a few extras, but I guess I didn't. So there is our, in fact, maybe we might just use one today. I'm just in kind of that kind of mood. Rather than using all three, we might just use the one, and I think it might make it look a lot um, prettier and stand out more. So look at that lemon. Isn't that so cute? I just think that's adorable. And so we're gonna have that stand as its own here today. And the next thing we're gonna do is, um, here, we, here we go. You know, I had everything out and it's just now kind of disappearing. I, I hate when that happens. Okay, so we're gonna use one. This is another die set that I wanted to show you today. And it's called Stylish Shapes. This is a new die set and the die, this might not be the right die. Let me see. Oh yeah, the die's right here, sorry. <laughs> These are all the dies, and this one goes in here. They're stitched on the outside and the inside, and we've got circles and squares, and we've got these banners in all sizes. This is a fabulous set, and I saw this right away in the catalog, and I wanted to snap it up, because this is one of those sets, it's a classic that you'll use all the time. I've talked about it before. So let's get our um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine back. And let's cut this circle out, this stitch circle. I, don't you love stitched things? There we go. Stitched on the outside and the inside. So what that means, and I'll show you here, is that we can use both the outside piece if we wanted to and the inside piece. Do you see what I mean right there? All the stitching around the circle. So if we wanted to, if I had not cut that lemon out before, we would have a pretty circle that we could put things behind for another card. I think that's great. But as it is, we have a darling stitched circle. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and stamp our sentiment on this circle. And this is a sentiment that it really, it's one of my favorites, I think, I love to send thank you cards, and I need to send a lot of thank you cards because I have some wonderful customers and friends and demonstrators, and this thank you is a really great thank you. I'm gonna show you as I stamp it. 
I'm using shaded spruce today. I went to get my garden green, which is the color that's used, and I don't have an ink refill and it, my pad was dry. So I'm gonna have to remedy that, but I'm substituting with shaded spruce. And this is the thank you stamp. I'm just gonna put it right on that stitch circle. And look at how great that comes out. Isn't that a nice, bold thank you? I love, when I'm sending a thank you card, I like it to say thank you in a bold way. Look at how pretty that looks. Isn't that nice? Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to use our punch, our bow punch. If you watch me very often, you know that I love the bow punch. And we're gonna punch just one, one uh, punch, one stem of leaves right here. And I've taught you before, on the bow punch, there's this line right here. So you can punch the leaf if you put a thin strip of cardstock under there, or if these are kind of like little berries and you put a, your strip of cardstock under there and don't pass that line that's in the punch. So let's go with our leaves because we just need a little lemon leaves. And that is quick and easy to punch some little lemon leaves like that and we'll just I'm gonna just hold it and see how we might want to arrange it don't you like to do that you kind of try and see how things go do you hear the neighbor dog barking I've got the windows open today because it's a very pretty day outside so I think we'll just do that and we'll have our little lemon off here to the side so we are going to use some Stampin Dimensionals because that always really helps um, when you're making a card is to lift your focus items up on Stampin' Dimensionals if you can. So let's put our thank you right in the center. The one thing I liked about this doily I want to show you, I thought it looked really pretty. Not only does it have the doily part here, but it has these uh, holes, little holes here, and then you have the stitch part from the circle. And I just thought that was a lot of nice texture together. I thought it really looked nice. And then we're going to tuck our little leaf right under there with a few dots of glue, just like this. Just put a little tiny bit and then we tuck it under and nobody sees the glue. So we're just going to tuck it under. I think I'll tuck it down right in there. And I think that just adds because this is garden green and the color in the paper is garden green, I think it adds a nice little um, something something there. Now another thing I like about these le the, the stamp and die cut lemons is that they are big enough to fit one stamp and dimensional. Do you see that? Is that not cute? And I love using the bigger ones. They're just easier. So let's put our little lemon right there. What do you think? A simple cute lemon card and I bet you didn't think of the tea boutique set being a lem something you could make a lemon card with. Now the other thing I want to do is let's see what we're going to do inside of our card. You know I always love to stamp the insides of my cards and so we're going to go ahead and use our Daffodil Delight ink and we're going to stamp a couple of lemons on the inside and then I have something a little bit special we're going to do on our envelope. Okay, there's one lemon. Isn't it just, I just think it's it's a great little stamp. Just a, doesn't that just look cute? Great little stamp. I mean there are lots of other things and I love these lemons so much I think I may think of other lemon cards just to play with it. Now let's get out our envelope because I wanted to show a little something with my envelope. The other envelope, I stamped two lemons in the left corner just like I did on the inside of the card. But for this one, after I cut the designer series paper, I had some left over and I thought that would look really cute on the bottom of the envelope, don't you think? Adorbs, Kimberly, yes, adorbs. Um, and so we're just going to put a little bit of glue. It doesn't take a lot. And if you put it at the bottom of the envelope, it really stays out of the way of the address, the, the stamps, the postage, everything. 
and I realize that this is a little bit longer than the base of the envelope. But what I'm going to do is I am just going to snip this off and I don't, oh, he, oh here I have some little scissors. I have lost my scissors. These are some special scissors that I got from Stampin' Up um, at an event. I don't think you can buy this, but this is a fun little chain that puts a little ball at the end of the scissors so you don't poke anything. Isn't that cute? Okay, so we're, these are our paper snip scissors, and we're just going to cut that end of that strip right off just like that. So there is our um, envelope. Let's fold over the top. And our cute little thank you note with just one lemon, which I think is cute. And here it is with the three lemons. What do you think? I almost like the one lemon more because of the simplicity. Let me know what you think. I always like to know what you guys think. Um, and this is from the Tea Boutique Suite, or it's also called uh, the Cup of Tea Bundle is the, the stamp set and the dies. Now we could have also stamped um, and die cut the leaf that's part of the set, but you know, I have to tell you, I'm just a nut about punches. I love my punches, and if I can punch a leaf, I'll do it any time over cutting it with a die just because it's so quick. Kimberly, you think either one are cute? Okay. Well, they they are both cute. I, I like both of them. All right, now we're gonna turn you, let, turn you up. Let me turn you up here. And we are gonna give away our prize. And the prize from last week, and I thought this was very appropriate. Last week we talked about these um, doilies. And now that I have them, they're called the Hard and Home Doilies. They're uh, available from the mini catalog. On the st they're on the stampinup.com website. Um, and they came in the mini catalog, so they're still available. And um, this is the prize I'm gonna award. And everybody that wrote the word prize last week on YouTube or Facebook, I wrote your names down and did the random number gem generator. And the winner is Inez. And I'm, I'm so excited because the random number generator chose Inez, and she is one of my brand new demonstrators. She purchased the starter kit the other day. And so I am really excited to send these to her. I didn't do that on purpose though. I put the numbers in the thing on the computer and it just chose her, so I'm excited. Now the person, the prize for next week, if you put the word prize in your comments on Facebook, whether you're watching a rerun, or live and same with YouTube because I don't um, I don't do the random number generator and choose the winner until a couple hours right before I do my live so I won't choose it until next Wednesday that will be the 18th and the winner next week is going to get a set of three of my cards and you're going to get the card we just made this card plus this card plus this card. I know that some of you like to get my cards as prizes, so that'll be the prize for next week. A selection of three of Peggy's cards, including the one made today on, on our live. So write down prize in the comments. And if you're, especially if you're on YouTube, I have a little trouble communicating with you if you win. So make sure you check back the following week to see if you win and that because I might need your address. So it was so much fun to be together with you today and I thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed seeing a new way of using your uh, cup of tea bundle and stamp set and come back on Friday. We're gonna have another, another live Friday at four o'clock and we'll demonstrate some more of our wonderful new catalog product. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great